<laughs> well, it was great talking to you. Excellent academics, and your recommendations are outstanding. Thank you. You won't mind if I take a look at your online social media posts. Why? It's just something we do as a matter of course nowadays. It gives us extra insight into whoever we're bringing on board. I'm sure we won't find anything significant. I bet you I'm going to get another one. Watch. Yeah, bro. Oh, uh, man. Let's do it. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Yeah. One more. Come on. Do it. Come on. Take this one. Awesome. Right down the hatch. Do it again. Let's <laughs> do it. One. Whoa. Nice. Oh, this is awesome. Oh man, I gotta post this. We've all been in situations like this before. We've had fun. We want our friends to see it, so we share it. We post it online on social media websites, or send photos in an email or text. And all it takes is a push of a button. But that's not where it ends. In many cases, it's just the beginning. Professionals in a wide range of fields are discovering the consequences of social media from its impact on personal reputations, to loss of income and opportunities, to lawsuits and litigation. It's not that there's anything wrong with having a good time and broadcasting it to the world. It's understanding that most social networking is public, not private property. And once posted, it can never truly disappear. And anything you post online can never be considered private. Very good. No problems here. We're all looking forward to you coming on board. Thank you. Me too. Oh, awesome. Very excited about the opportunity. As are we. Take a moment and imagine a few other scenarios. It may not be an interview for a job or an application for graduate or medical school. It may be a post like this. Or a message like this. Or a photo like this. Were these real or fake? The answer, unfortunately, is these were all based on real posts that caused real problems. Did you know the most common cause of disciplinary action against medical students, residents, and physicians isn't making a wrong diagnosis or making a mistake in the operating room? It's a lack of professional behavior. Did you know that these posts, even without any patient identifiers, could be HIPAA violations and may also violate state privacy laws? which in turn could lead to significant fines and even jail time? We need to acknowledge that being in the medical profession is a job, a responsibility, and a privilege. Doctors, nurses, and medical professionals have chosen a higher calling and must demonstrate their professionalism to a higher standard. Look, there's nothing wrong with having a good time. And there are positives to social media too. Communicating with friends, family, colleagues, and patients. Promoting your medical practice. Getting important messages out to the public even simply as a form of personal expression. But the pitfalls are severe. Loss of friends, patients, being fired, or being disciplined by state boards of medicine, including having your professional license revoked. You could even wind up in jail. So think a little bit before you send a message or upload an image. Is this something you'd want your mother to see or your boss? If you have any questions about something you're about to post, back off and think about it for 24 hours. It is too easy to just push a button and regret it for the rest of your life. It could be the difference between humiliation and having the time of your life. So go out, have fun, but please remember to post responsibly.